Hey everyone, this is Tom Hazard from WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast and 3dstarpoint.com and this video, uh, you're not going to see my face on this video, but this video is going to be to demonstrate how to install one of the Village Plastics new coils of filament onto your 3D printed spool. And uh, if you saw the Facebook Live video where I announced this or you've watched, uh, listened to the WTFFF podcast, on this subject, uh, you'll know uh, about this spool, but I'm going to briefly mention it. This is the latest thing in 3D printing filament delivery systems where uh, Slant 3D has created, um, engineered this spool, which is a two part spool. It's the same part, you just print it twice so there's no right and no left. And um, you actually buy filament on a coil now, so you don't buy the spool. Uh, which is disposable and uh, maybe recyclable in some cases, but in most of my experience have not really been very recyclable. Uh, print this on your 3D printer, or you can buy these um, from Slant 3D and a number of other uh, distributors who you can you know, buy as many of these as you need for the coils that you're gonna buy and, and reuse them over and over. Never have to recycle, never have to dispose of them. And the two halves just fit together here and do a quarter turn twist and then you're done. Um, you can download the STL file for these if you go to 3dstartpoint.com and you go to that call to action page for a uh, free sample of filament from Village Plastics. There's a promotion going on right now where anybody can uh, who comes to 3dstartpoint.com can just click that pop up that you want a free sample, go to a Village Plastics landing page, fill out your information and get a free sample. But on that page, you can also download this new spool. And if you have a 3D printer with a big enough build plate, you can build it. Um, one note you'll notice on this one, uh, there's a little bit of a flat on each side of the one. I actually modified it because when I printed this on my 3D printer, um, my build plate in the shortest dimension was about four millimeters too small for this spool, which is 200 millimeters in diameter. Mine, I think, is like a 195 um, dimension in, in one dimension. So I just cut a little bit off so I could print it. And it, it's not gonna affect the, the, uh, you know, the function of it at all. So I'm gonna show you now how you would go and install this. So uh, obviously you need to have a spool in two halves ready to go. Um, either that you printed or that you purchased. And then you're gonna have your filament coil that you purchased. I'm gonna use this pink one to demonstrate. And as usual, it comes in a bag with some desiccant. It's always a good idea to save that bag and desiccant for storing it later, because not only can you install this coil on the spool, but you can take it back off if you save these binders, these you know twist ties. If you don't want to buy a uh, buy or print 3D print a spool for every different filament you have, you can actually um, you know take them on and off, store them in a bag for long-term storage if you're not going to use one for a while. So the way the instructions they say, open up the bag and then you're going to take these twist ties and move the the twisty part to the outside of the spool. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then it says, take your spool half and, and put it right over it, which actually that was pretty darn easy to do. Um, now, what it says to do next is actually to pick this one up with the filament on it and put it down onto the other half of the spool. So I'll I'll follow the instructions. Personally, I thought it might have been a little easier to do it the other way and just take the other half and put it on, but I'm gonna follow the instructions. So that was pretty easy. It's, it's on there, and now you're gonna twist it its quarter turn, and now it's locked in place, and you can remove your uh, twist ties from it. Now, the other thing I would make sure that you do is take this filament end. There's a couple different ways this spool has given you to be able to capture that end. Uh, I'm gonna show you in just a second. So I'm just gonna get these other twist ties undone here. So we can 
So seems pulling out those twist ties is relatively easy. So uh, not really a big deal. And I'm going to hold the end of the filament just so I don't lose it there when I pull this last one off. And now the spool does have some holes in the side as typical uh, to hold filament, but it also has, um, has a really nice feature in part of it uh, built in here in the middle uh, is a place that you actually can thread the filament through in there. And if you notice that, I, I'll try to show this on the camera a little more, but I, um, I threaded it into a little, uh, threaded it into a little hole here and it goes actually through an internal part of this um, spool and out the other side, uh, which holds it much better in my opinion than, whoa. All right, that was, that was really graceful. My, uh, my mount came off there. So uh, that's what you get for, uh, you know, shooting video and with one person. But in any case, uh, there it is. Um, I've got the, um, you can see the filament here is going through that internal part of the spool, which I really like that feature. I think that's, that's actually a, a really good feature for um, being able to um, capture the end of the filament in a way that it doesn't have to take as hard a turn when you uh, doesn't have to take as hard a turn when you put it through those holes that are just in the side it captures it a little easier in my opinion so now I'm ready to go use my new coil of filament from Village Plastics and I'm really excited about this spool it's gonna save a lot of you know wasted material and I, I like the idea that they can ship the spool without the weight and the size of the spool because it does add quite a bit of weight so uh, if you're watching this on 3dstarpoint.com, you probably have already seen the blog post, but if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you go to 3dstarpoint.com to check out the, the podcast and blog post for this episode about the new Village Plastics spool and coil filament delivery system. And go to the landing page. Uh, you can get there at 3dstarpoint.com slash village to go and order your free sample of filament from Village Plastics, and that's also on that page where you can download the STL file for the spool. Okay, thanks very much.